Yes, y'all, welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And yes, moving on, yes, we have a lot of stories to discuss today. So American singer Tama Braxton, which has, um, has a restraining order res um, dissolved after she filed by a, after it was filed by a strange Nigerian boyfriend, David Adfeso, has been dissolved after they both failed to appear in court. What this simply means is that the singer doesn't have to keep a distance from her former boyfriend, Adifeso, to be to be corrected i stand to be corrected i defer so abby yes you yeah. sit to be corrected yeah <laughs> <laughs> right. technically not yeah so i defer so yeah so what do you guys think of this when this all broke I know yeah we spoke about that was very yeah. crazy i think the yeah. story is very creepy in so many ways so many ways and i, I don't think it's one things. of those you things and I, I don't even know if i'm ever going to find out the truth about the story but mm. it's 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 either one of them is the creep, the one who's claiming to be the victim is the creep, or both of them are just really, really toxic because he, she was the one, he was the one who first came out and said, this girl is doing this and this girl is doing that and she's hurting me and she's doing that. And then his sisters, his sisters started coming out with some receipts about how mm. he's the one who's actually really crazy, controlling mm. her, mm. using her money, threatening her, putting stuff in her drugs, like exchanging her this depressed on the tablet like it's some crazy stuff so i know a lot unfortunately i know a lot about people who can manipulate the situation where an incident has happened and i've hurt this person mm. and i know that it's going to get out so i'm going to do i'm going to make the action first mm. so that i can control the narrative mm. right you see people who are who go and beat someone and then when they come out they'll bandage themselves and say, mm, oh, sure. you know, yeah, you and me. yeah, mm, yeah, mm -hmm. or something, something like that, something really weird. Or they would quickly say the narrative first, and then you know, really damage your your whatever. If the you're not lucky right, enough to have records or videos, then you know you can't really do anything about it. But also, I think all I can all I can say to this particular story because I remember when they came to Nigeria, and she was really eager to like learn the love and the culture and the food and the whatever. Is that um, you know, it's, it's sad that. The relationship is, is has turned this sour but either ways these two people have allowed a toxic environment to groom and to breathe and to fester and i think they and i think it's time for it's obviously time for them to end it now if this guy is not coming up to the courts um thingy and so is she to say oh we want to actually restrain from each other mm. then i think that there's some kind of communication happening behind mm -hmm. and that they're, they're ready to settle things so i think i think that's a good way to conclude the story in my opinion that is this too creepy though it could, they could still both, I don't know who's, I don't know for sure who's creepy now because I don't want to believe the wrong person. Mm. But the person might still be creepy. Either ways, I, it looks like these two people want to want dissolve things and move so on. Do you think so that sometimes that. you can be in a toxic relationship but you can't just let go? Yes. Do you think that you can have somebody's back, right, and to be free? Like, how do I explain no. that now? Now, you know, there were allegations of him cheating and all that. So do you believe that there's still, like, a love sign between the both of them or a, a strong bond between the in both of them? In my personal opinion, toxic love thing? is the sweetest love. In my personal opinion. Do you think so? That love is, so, is very... Do you think toxic love is the sweetest? Yeah, um, to a certain degree, yes. It because, feels more um, overwhelming and, like... It feels real. Yeah, really, and, like, the mm, situation and intense is, and all when, of that. When you're in, quote-unquote toxic relationships uh it really uh, kind of kind of stems from wanting to experiment okay mm. it's a break from the norm what you're used to mm. regular stuff mm. i mean you don't want to just keep it moving like normal mm. you know you're having sex in weird places you know mm. is that what normal. toxic is no not toxic. exactly okay. it makes it, it, it brings <laughs> it brings it brings <laughs> no, what I'm just saying is it brings mm. it brings a certain level of adventure and exploration that's the point which is what i started with but you see at the end of the day um, no matter how toxic you are or whoever the person is, um, I learned from personal experience that uh, as little as leaving with someone within a certain short period in time is enough for you to not even want to let go of somebody. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Like just staying with someone for a month or two. Yeah. Right? Not a, a guy now. I'm talking someone you have something to yeah. with. You might not necessarily love the person, sure. yeah. but that's you know. So um, uh, let alone a situation where you guys actually are like mm. really, really into each other. You're going around the world together mm. and sure. all that stuff. Sure. Yeah. So it is yeah, really, public, it's not public, possible. Yes, well. it is. 
how you said is it possible? Yeah, it yeah. is definitely. It is overly possible. Very and too possible. for their situation, I think it's just it's just super weird, and they need to just stay away from each other. Absolutely. At the end of the day. That's Absolutely. what they need to do. Yeah. But you see. It's, it's not so easy. Yeah, that's why I asked that question because I realized that, look, these two people clearly know they are not good yes. for each other. Yes. But the they don't seem here, to be able to let go. Everyone has, everyone has, um, everyone has a certain level of uh, save the next person complex. Mm. Yeah. Right. Everybody has it. Either you like it or not. Sure. But um, in such a situation, especially when it comes to a relationship, yeah. You always want to save the next person, and the person yeah. wants to save you as well, because mm. you think you're the savior, and the person is also the savior. Mm. Do you understand know what I mean? But last, so the last, one person gets, will child the other person. Yes, now. But the messier, child, yes. Yes. The absorb, the one person what absorbs the other person. The mm. messier he gets, the bigger the, the desire to want to save it. Yeah. Mm. The messier he gets. So if he gets worse, where the gun comes out, it's like, oh. I can still do it. We can still do it. Let's try one more time. And you see, most of those people, they only always only separate because um, there's there's external forces now. So I, I've noticed that with relationships, it doesn't Is that really creepy. What's that? Mm -hmm. Now, you have a relationship. Maybe you're married, and then the, everybody talks. Your friend talks. Your parents talk. Mm -hmm. Do you think a relationship it should be between two people? No. Huh? You think we should have? I'm all a, the people I, I'm I'm now a very big. Um, advocate for not having a relationship that is too closed. It is very disarming for the victim. You don't have help and you don't have accountability to anybody and that mm. is not a good thing. Your parent. So everybody should be in your business? <clears throat> not everybody should be in your business, but you should be, your relationship should be accountable to someone or to some people. They need to know what is happening in that relationship. And, the, and you see, the thing is, when you're healthy, you don't care who's in your business because there's no, there's no business. Do you get what I mean? But when you start to have issues, like when the man is hitting you or when you guys are, um, there's infidelity, or that's when you really don't want anybody in your, in your business because you know that they're going to remind you what your, your, your value is. Mm. And they're going to want you to do the things that you mm. can't do because, mm. like you mentioned, you're so infused mm. to each other. Mm. Sometimes you need the external forces to remind you that this is too low. Get out. And most of these relationships, what I wanted to say before you interrupted me, oh, no, actually, you didn't. You didn't. You asked this question back. Is that it only ends when external authorities enter. Mm. A good example is um, Rob and China. They were throwing things at each other. They were keeping, they were keeping it cool until Chris and the family now went and brought legal whatever mm. is inside. So they now mm. had no choice but to admit that the relationship sure. is toxic sure. and it's public. People sure. know about it. So what does that say about you that you're tolerating and allowing space Let, for Quincy's toxic to breathe in? So no. Let's get Quincy in this um, What I, I, I think it should, I think it should be closed. It should be closed, right? Yes. Yeah. I think it should be closed. You're saying it should be open, but you see. Um, People love to not mind their business. Your business is the most yeah, important business. business for them. Do you understand? It's the most important business that they want to get into. And they probably I, won't do what they're advising you to do. I promise you, they no, 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 not probably. They're not <laughs> doing. They're not That's doing. Not true. They're not doing what they're advising you to. That's I promise not true. you. That's not so true. it's so easy to tell somebody to. You know what? Um, your relationship is this, bro. Just end it. Mm, you know. That's wait, 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 and that's it. She doesn't know what I mean. Oh, um, uh, you go out on a date, and then you probably a third will, or you know, you double date, and there was uh, the way he spoke to you there, and there's probably nothing to it. He well, probably just there's felt probably like something to it. No, he probably just felt like, oh, this coffee. It's like, yo, babe, I don't think I want this. No, or when he says, no, or when he says, do you understand know what no, I mean? No, let's not minimize. Okay, guys, let's not minimize. But that happens. Yeah, that, that happens. You know that happens. No, listen. That happens Nobody a lot. is saying that you should, you should influence. allow, you should allow unnecessary opinions. Mm. And let's, we're well, not children. These are not unnecessary not opinions. This is how it starts. No, it, but I'm, you know, I'm talking about manipulation. Calm down, calm down. I'm saying, I think we're all growing here to know that you have to use initiative with this conversation and know when some things are unnecessary. Opinions. But I'm talking about initiative and never I, works when it comes to matters of the bloody heart. No, sure. that is real wait, fact. Wait, wait. Factually, isn't that the more reason factually. why you need to have that open open communication? Because I am talking about danger. You are talking about opinions, and you know, there's a massive difference. I'm not talking about oh the cop. I'm saying when I say babe, I say what? My friend needs to see that. So that she can say, is everything okay? Does this guy hate you at home? Because someone's doing what in the in the restaurant is definitely chopping you slap at home. 
So you, somebody else needs to see that because you have tolerated it and he has given you an image and an idea of how he's going to change and he's working on it and he's really sorry. So you're tolerating and tolerating and you're making up and you're doing all of that. It takes that one friend to enter friend that business. Away. And say, are Anyways, you okay? I get, I, I get the boat. Let's so, not let's I, not I minimize conversation. So, so um, from your point of view, up, for your point, of, sorry, sorry, yeah. let me just say this. Yeah. From your point of view, or from your standpoint, um, I see no reason, right? Till today, I keep saying it. It sounds like I'm not being empathic towards, you know, victims of you know domestic abuse, but I'm very sorry. I see no reason why someone would hit you, and you're just gonna let it go. Alrighty, alrighty, hmm. alrighty. And I fact. think that's that I think that's fact. I think um, if you've been hit, you should leave or speak you to You bloody somebody. walk away. Yeah. Or you or, or you talk to somebody. And yes, thank you guys. Don't for talk watching. to anybody, go. Tell them where you are going, sir. But they go. Come up for there. It's simple. All right. Thank you for talk watching. Join sister. the conversation on we'll social media. You. With the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter does at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive contents, by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes out to my co anchors, Quincy Jones, and of course the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshunkeye.